We're here at the media staging area, about a block away from the Berkman II apartment complex, where a parking garage collapsed around 6 a.m. this morning. Now, 13 people were found inside the building and transported to various hospitals around the city with undetermined injuries. One person is still reported missing, and police have not released his identity yet, but family at the scene has confirmed his name as Willie. L.B. Edwards III, a 26-year-old father of two. Now, the family, of course, they're waiting by on their cell phones, trying to find out any information of what might have happened to their son, who was a construction worker at the scene. It is unknown what exactly caused the parking garage to collapse, but the investigation is still very early and ongoing. Uh, Bay Street, part of that is closed down, and uh, traffic has been um, rerouted. Hasn't caused much delays. Um, few parking issues. Uh, any people who work in the area are being asked to park over at Jacksonville Municipal Stadium and a shuttle will take them to the work. We've got uh, Christian Smith, Director of Public Support for American Red Cross, and uh, she's helping out at the scene. Tell us what you got going on. Well, actually on the scene we have the emergency response vehicle and they're working with emergency personnel, fire and rescue, um, to pass out food and water to keep their energy and to keep them hydrated. And then here over on this side where the family members are waiting, working with them, um, we have some counselors that are talking with them and kind of being there with them while they wait to hear. So what kind of trauma can be caused you know, the family as they're, they're waiting, you know, patiently trying to find out what's going on with their loved ones? Well, you know, anytime something when you're waiting, I think that's the most difficult part for this family and, and not knowing, you know, and waiting minute by minute and not knowing what to expect. So that's why they're there working with them and talking with them and just being a part of the whole situation. And the mental health counselors, they're trained to do this. They're trained for these types of things. And we just wait and pray. Okay, well, thank you, Christian. Um, we're here at the scene. We'll give you any updates as they come along. Right now, still early in the investigation, just searching the scene. No update on names of any of the people who might have been injured, but we'll bring that to you on Jacksonville.com. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Adam Austin.